Hey, this is a very important part of the video. I want you to compare these two clips. The first clip that you're seeing right now is what it's intended for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This is a limited time mode called Arcade that has special power-ups and weapons. And now for the second clip, we have the same power-up weapon in rank play, which is not supposed to happen. And now I ask you guys, do you guys think the anti-cheat works at all? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again on this great, beautiful Thursday. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Ricochet anti-cheat. We're going to be going over how the Ricochet anti-cheat does not detect hacks, how hackers are able to do this, how hackers are able to get around the anti-cheat, and what other things hackers can do to the game. But before we talk about any of that, if you guys haven't yet, drop a like and subscribe. But let's get right into the nitty-gritty of it. So obviously, with that first clip, that is obviously showing how the arcade game mode actually works. And everything in the arcade game mode is what is intended for that game mode. But in the second clip, it's a ranked hardpoint match with one of the limited time game mode weapons. How in the world was this possible? How did Ricochet, the anti-cheat, how did it not do its job? There is literally no excuse for this weapon to be in ranked play. This just goes to show that the anti-cheat is not good enough yet. It's at a certain level, but the hacks are at a completely different level. Like, the fact that the hacks cannot be detected immediately by Ricochet, that should be alarming. Like, if we look at other games anti-cheat, like, a good example of an anti-cheat is Valorant. That is a 5v5 search and destroy one life game. Very competitive as well. You can get reported if you are caught with cheats and it's very blatant and it's very obvious like that in the second clip. Like, you, you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing. You implement something or you're like a body or anything like that, you get banned immediately within a couple of rounds. You last at least like 10 minutes and that's it. And a Valorant match is about an hour. Another great example is Minecraft. The Minecraft servers, the people that develop it, they can detect if you're cheating or not by using X-Ray, a macro as well, anything, dude. But Call of Duty, a multi-billion company that has millions of players on it every day that have played it and Activision can't figure out how to code and actually detect cheats that are super blatant. That is absolutely embarrassing. Ricochet does not detect the cheats because what these hackers are doing, they are changing the line of code to the point where when Ricochet reads it, it doesn't detect cheats at all and they think it's a normal thing. So taking that second clip and really analyzing it, what the hacker was doing, whoever the hacker was, it implemented the shotgun RPG into the game, but it coded it to the point where Ricochet, the anti-cheat, would not detect it and think, like, oh, it's a normal thing. It's completely fine. That's what's supposed to be in this game, but that's what's allowed in this game mode. I don't play ranked, but I don't know if that shotgun is banned, but if it is, what do the anti-cheat already know that like, hey, this weapon's banned. You're not allowed to use that class setup. Shouldn't that be happening? And if it is, the only reason why it's not happening is because th the hacker's code is so good that the anti-cheat can't detect it. The anti-cheat needs to be better because this is getting out of hand. Imagine this was in Warzone. Imagine if this was actually in other game modes outside of it. Imagine you're in a tournament and some hacker just pulls out a shotgun RPG. What are you going to do? The next thing I want to talk about is how hackers are actually able to do this. For hackers, they can develop a line of code, a separate software, a third-party software that Activision will never know about. They develop this line of code and they just look at what you know dev tools have and what devs can do when they're testing games. They go to the file, see what the line of code is for Call of Duty. They copy it. They change some of the values, some of the things that are saying, false this, true that, all that stuff, right? They basically do that and they test it out with all accounts. They test out their hacks and see how long and how blatant the cheats are, how strong they are. And they try to see how long it'll take for them to get reported and actually get detected by the anti-cheat and get banned. And remember, Call of Duty doesn't do hardware or IP bans. They just ban that account. So all they have to really do is either... One, pirate the game, which is illegal. Or two, buy a, a cheap ass account that has a separate Steam or Battle.net login or a different Xbox and PlayStation account and just play on that and see if the cheats get detected. Hackers are able to add and manipulate the game to their liking by coding things into the game and into that match by literally making it undetectable and invisible to the anti-cheat and making the anti-cheat things that it's supposed to be like that and that it's completely fine. This also ties in with how hackers are able to get around the anti-cheat. Literally every time Ricochet gets an update, hackers will literally spend hours and days making sure that their hacks and cheats are not 
detectable and they update their hacks if there's a hacking service finding hacking services that get updated daily is very easy to find just like vpns reverse boosted lobbies bot lobbies that you could buy the service can always get updated because the people selling it the people that are involved with it they just make a better line of code that doesn't get detected they just do the bare minimum no matter how many times activision actually updates ricochet the hackers will always get around it and the only real way to prevent hacks is just by ip and or hardware banning these hackers it is just so easy to remake find and buy a cheap call of duty account from battle.net and steam and it's super easy to just make another console account overall ricochet just needs to be better they need to update the anti-cheat quicker it needs to detect things a lot easier and actually confirm where things are supposed to be in that game especially if it's ranked play activision needs to start hardware and or ip banning these hackers so they either have to move away and or buy a completely new pc part which is about 100 to 250 dollars and the report system needs to be better I i'm not gonna lie i've been shadow banned before for being too good right I, I i have never cheated in my life but the fact of the matter is that when you are shadow banned and you are being reviewed by activision all you have to do to avoid getting not detected by activision themselves and the anti-cheat ricochet is by literally turning off your hacks and playing normally and that's what 99.9% .9 of hackers do once they get shadow banned on that main account they're like oh i don't have enough money to buy a new account or i don't want to make another console account or i just don't want to buy the game all over again on a separate activision account i don't want to log into my all whatever they feel like okay when they when they get shadow banned on that account they're like dude you know what? I'm just gonna turn off the cheats for about two weeks. Then just start cheating all over again. If they had theater mode, literally, if they had theater mode activated at all times, right? Activision could literally just go into all your past games from when you got mass reported, whatever, whatever you got that temporary shadow ban. They should be able to see the like the last five to 10 games and then compare it to when you are shadow banned within that shadow ban period. Like, I, don't, I, I just think it's ridiculous that the anti-cheat is just not working. Like, they put so much money into this ricochet anti-cheat for it to be easy to go around and do shit that you saw in the second clip. And it doesn't end there. Hackers can do so much other things that they haven't just done yet. They could add god mode to themselves. They could add aimbot. They could add walls. They could do so much things and not have it be detected by the anti-cheat. I think a crazy thing that I've seen from past Call of Duties is hackers adding a ray gun or thunder gun into multiplayer. So imagine if they're able to do that, right? Give themselves zombies perks and or armor plates from Warzone. These hackers could add so many things that are not going to be detected by the anti-cheat. Hell, they could spawn in a vehicle most likely and or spawn in bots that spawn on you every time you move. We've seen it in Apex Legends. We've seen it in Minecraft. We've seen it in every game so what's preventing them from doing it into call of duty when call of duty has a worse anti-cheat detection and anti-cheat in general than most of the games i've mentioned in this entire video activision needs to do better with the anti-cheat they need to stop flaunting that they're getting all these player accounts and all this money and not putting it into making the game better and to make the anti-cheat better man because if i'm playing call of duty just to chill, relax, drive for some camos on weapons that I don't have, like the DLC weapons, and or I just want to play Warzone with the boys, anything. If I'm trying to chill, and I get hit with somebody using a shotgun RPG in a game where it's not allowed, and they're spawning in random shit, I'm losing my mind, and I'm trying to return the game. I don't care if I put a thousand hours into Call of Duty already. I will try to return that game on Steam. I will fight for it, bro, because, dude, because I did not spend $70, potentially $100, on a game that doesn't easily detect obvious hacks and cheats nobody in the right mind no matter what game you're playing tdm small map mosh pit rank play warzone resurgence any of that nobody puts in time and money into a game just for the anti-cheat to be absolute horseshit even after recording this i still don't know how this is happening how this is possible i still don't understand how the anti-cheat is allowing this and how it hasn't been detected and people have not been getting banned it's been your boy limit though guys drop a like subscribe i'll see you guys next time Peace.